Hello and welcome back to another live uh, morning show here. Did I say show? It's not a show, okay? Just a, just a, just a regular video. Uh, so this morning I'm going to use, I'm going to be using bottomless pore filter. Uh, I haven't used it in a while, so let's try that this morning. I'm going to show you the pros and cons about uh, bottomless pore filter. And then this morning I'm going to bring out all my uh, top equipment here. So I'm going to be using niche coffee grinder. And then I'm going to be using my San Anthony distribution tool and temp, okay? So hopefully we're going to get a great shot. I mean, if not, I have no excuse for this. So it's going to be, that's my goal, okay? So only thing, okay, only thing I love to upgrade is the uh, filter baskets. So this is uh, obviously a 40, uh, 54 millimeter uh, portal filter, but this basket is just a stock, stock basket from Bravo. And unfortunately, like IMS or VST makes wonderful uh, baskets, but they do not make uh, 54 millimeter. Uh, because I try, I looked everywhere. And if you guys know, uh, where I can find the 54 millimeter uh, VST or IMS, please let me know in the comment as well. Because they are, it's called precision baskets, give you a nice even flow as well. Uh, nice flow and just give you a really good uh, quality shots. And also, uh, shower head, the shower screen, uh, if you go to IMS or VST, uh, special IMS makes the shower screen too, but they do not make it, okay? I know, I know for fact, uh, 900 series for Bravo, like dual boiler. I know some company out there, they come up with a kit. So you, you can actually upgrade to IMS shower screen, but not with Brista Express. But again, is that worth all upgrading it? Because the fact is this is entry level home express machine, but spend, you know, 30, 40 bucks I mean, you know what? I think it might be worth it. It might be worth it. So this morning I'm going to be using again a uh, Good Brothers Copy uh, Espresso Blend. It's going to be sweet, uh, smooth, and creamy. So sweet. So let's find out. Uh, let's get the, the sweetness out of this uh, this beans here this morning. So let's see. I'm I'm using my fellow Atmos coffee canister. Okay. I got not much left, but still, it should be still fresh enough. Let's get, let's get going here, get your angle. There we go. So again, I mean, if you're new to the ch uh, channel, uh, welcome. I'm gonna use 17 gram on this one. Personally, I really like 17 versus 18 or 19. And I know someone uh, begged to differ, but yeah, let's see. I guess here we go, 17. Here we go, perfect. I got 17 gram in. If you guys are thinking about upgrading your coffee grinder, definitely take a look at niche as well. Okay, these niche grinders are fantastic. Okay. Because, let me show you. Uh, it's not the fastest grinder, but for home use, just fine. And with this, I'm just gonna shake it, get every business. Okay, so I got 17 in. 16.93 gram out, so about 0.7 gram. You know, hold on. I'm just gonna tap it, shake it one more time. Okay, 17 gram. I got every <laughs> bit is out. So, so pretty much there are uh, zero, well, zero retention on a niche grinder. They're pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so meantime, I'm gonna flush out my pore filter. I'm gonna warm up my shot glass there. Okay. 
So let's prepare the shot from here. I'm just going to use my St. Anthony industry tool. So this St. Anthony industry, it's called the block party. That's the name for that, but not cheap. But this is great item for uh, Christmas gifts or holiday gifts. So make sure to tell your loved ones that's what you want for Christmas. Okay, okay, from here, I'm just gonna distribute properly. And then I'm gonna be using my, uh, it's called Levy, the temp. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze in. Small twist, just give you a perfect precision uh, distribution there. All right, at this point, I'm gonna be doing uh, one to two ratio. I'm gonna do 17 gram in and 34, 34 gram out. Okay, just. So what if I pulling the shot from bottomless port filter? You know, you're, you're always wonder, do I get the, this beautiful shot? You know, shot from like Instagram page, but I don't know. So I got my shot glass ready. Okay. And you know what? Hopefully I can give you guys a better view. That's why we got the, we are, okay. Hold on. Okay, that's, okay, that's good. So I'm looking for 34 gram. Okay, I'm gonna be monitoring from the top. Here we go. I see slight channeling there. Actually, a lot of channeling. Hold on. Let me stop. Okay, I got 34 gram out. Shot looks amazing, but I see a lot of channeling. As you can see from there, there. But again, shot looks really good. I got 34 gram out. Oh, uh, yep, 33, yeah, 33. So shot looks good. So that's one downside of bottomless port filter, okay? Especially with just a regular stock. If that was like precision uh, baskets, we're gonna get much better results. I mean, uh, let me know if you guys have a good result with uh, using bottomless port filter. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, what is your, there's a lot of different techniques, but I try everything, okay? I try different dosing amounts different temping pressure. But so far with Brista Express, kind of like hit and miss. In the beginning, you're gonna see the beautiful stream and then just go crazy after that, so. Okay. Uh, the pressure was good around just past 12 o'clock. So I like to be around one o'clock range. So it's really good. Pressure was good. Probably tamping a bit stronger could help eliminate channeling. Okay, and then the, uh, Puck is nice and dry, which means well distribute. So, so I'm not sure. Is someone asking me about the San Anthony? So this is the holder here. It's called Block from San Anthony Industry. I mean, this is amazing. I have to say. But again, you know, like I said, they are around three hundred and twenty dollars right now. So, I mean, that's half the price of the Brista Express. Okay, but it's de this is definitely not, you know, you just go out there and buy one. But if you have, you know, if it's someone that really loves coffee and Brista Express, the fifty-four millimeter. So, I mean, that's again, that's really good 
gifts rather than buying yourself. But anyway, so let's try this shot. Shot looks good. Okay. The ratio I like. Cheers. Smooth. Very smooth. They give you the little brightness on the in the beginning. And is 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 fantastic. So shot looks amazing. Did I say looks is I mean tastes really good. So that's definitely I drink that all, all, all day long. Somebody asked you, um, I'm sure the barista's factory is set for a high pressure. Have you considered the OPV mode to set pressure down to maybe 10 bar? Uh, someone asked me about the OPV mode. Uh, so I think that's the overpressure valve. You can actually adjust it. And I have not, okay, because I just don't want to mess with the internal mechanism. So, and I like to do manual mode as well. So, but again, I mean, maybe someday I just uh, mess with those pressure, but not at this moment. Okay, any questions? I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. It's been great in Tucson. Around 60 degree, weather's perfect. It's fun. But anyway, so let's talk about the pros and cons about having bottomless pore filter, okay? Bottomless pore filter give you the, your pretty much how well you distribute. So give you the, you can actually tell what kind of, whatever you see channeling, which means uh, inside the puck, uh, some pressure is not evenly distributed. So because they build so much pressure inside, the coffee wants to go through the easy way out, okay? That's why create this channeling. So I think James Hoffman did a great video about that as well. I think he can explain to me better than me. Anyway, so, so as long as we got the perf, not the perfect, but good distribution and good temp, theoretically you're gonna get nicely stream of espresso. But again, we are dealing with just regular stock filter baskets. So is that, I don't know, is that my skill set perhaps? But if I'm using better equipment, I don't know because I'm using the one of best home grinder here. I have, to, I'm using the really good distribution tool as well. So I mean, I, I think it might be me. Okay. But, I'm, but with Bottomless pore filter, if I try 10 times, I get about five to six good shots. At the other times, as you, as you can see, you see a lot of channeling there. Where did you get the bottomless filter for the machine? Okay, someone asked me, where do I get this? Okay, so this one from, I'm gonna shout out to Matt at Crema Coffee Products. I got from Crema Coffee Products. And also now, it's everywhere now, okay? If you go to Amazon, you can get this one for around between 60 and $80 range there. So, I mean, personally, is that worth using? If you get it dialed in just right, you could take beautiful Instagram page, the Instagram pictures. But if you're reading a shot, yes, it's a really helpful tool. But I mean, most of us out there, we just want a good coffee every morning. You know, I prefer just regular, Let's see, spout it. Just regular, just spout it. Pour filter is good enough, okay? But, I mean, if you really understand the shots, definitely worth buying it, okay? Do you have an opportunity to try better equipment? Uh, you know what? Yes, yeah, so someone asked me, I had an opportunity to use better equipment. So yes, uh, I get to use uh, Rentrally or the commercial grade at the coffee shop. And then I used that before. I used a much better grinder than that one as well. So, so I know what good quality look like. So, so again, comes to price, Brista Express, I mean, I, I don't think no one can touch that for that price range. So by the way, uh, I'm looking for another coffee machine. As you guys know, I've been mentioning to you, I've been talking to, uh, I'm, I'm working with this company in Italy. They make wonderful grinder. So I'm hoping they're gonna send me something, okay? If not, it's no big deal. So 
And also I've been talking to another place, maybe discounted price for the, my new espresso machine. So we'll see what, what happens there as well. So definitely I'm getting another machine for sure. Again, I mean, I have a such limited budget. So I'm trying to stay under 600 bucks. So it's hard to find it, hard to find a good coffee machine for around $600 range at 58 millimeter pore filter. Okay, uh, let's see. They shared they think it's hard to not channel on the barista because they set it at such a high pressure. Okay, someone mentioned to me about because Barista Express set a high pressure for the, the bar, the pressure bar, really hard to get a good shot from uh, pore filter. You know what, hold on a second. A couple months ago, I was using, I was putting the shot just uh, uh, pre-infusion using manual mode. So what if I'm going to pull the shot just using pre-infusion, okay? So let's try that, which means uh, pre-infusion is only about two or three bar at the most. So maybe, maybe it might work. We'll see, okay? Let So since Saturday morning, I have time, so I mean, what, why not try, okay? So I'm gonna do just pre-infusion shot with the bottomless pore filter. I think it's gonna be fun, okay? Fun to try. Someone says they almost always get the stream out of one side for a piece Yeah. They're always on the same side. So let's try with this. I, I'm just gonna pull the shot with the pre-infusion only. Okay. By the way, the really fun about home espresso machine, and when you have time, you can experiment with a whole bunch, you know, different way to make coffee. I think that's the, okay, if you guys like, if you guys like watching this or doing this, definitely get yourself an espresso machine. I mean, if you don't like this, if you, this is not thing for you, just go with just, just buy the machine, just use the pressurized baskets. Makes your life a lot easier. And you're gonna, you are going to get great tasting coffee every morning, so. So either way. But, I mean, for me, I mean, this is fun for me, so. Okay, I'm gonna do, again, a 17 gram. Okay, 17 gram here. Let's get going. Okay. Mm. Yeah, someone asked me, uh, why don't you try with a coarser? Yeah, I know it's gonna be look better, but at the same time, I guess I do want to good tasting shot, so maybe I'm go I should do that next time. I don't have a lot of beans left, so. Okay, I'm just from here. I'm gonna distribute. Okay, from here, I'm going to flush. Okay, so this time I'm going to use just a pre-infusion only, okay? I never done that with the bottomless pore filter, so I got my scare set up. Okay, I'm, I'm shooting for 34 gram. Okay. Just gonna move the... Hopefully you guys can see it. Good. Okay, so manual mode. 
Here we go. So just a pre-infusion. So pre-infusion means I'm just going to use about two, two bars at the most. Okay, look like I have some channeling there, but hopefully they're going to come together anytime soon. N yep, there we go. Absolutely perfect shot right now. 34 gram. Done. Okay. Okay, here we go. So this is just a pre-infusion shot only, okay? Which means I use the very low, uh, you know, pressure. So only about two or three bar at the most. But uh, let's try the taste compared to other shot there. That was re really interesting, wasn't it? Okay, so. Smells really good. I thought shot looks beautiful. Okay, let's try this. Cheers. Wow. Taste pretty much the identical. Slightly, slightly bitter taste. Hold on, let's go back to the, oh, I know this is a little cold, but still. They're good. Okay, so this is the my regular shot. Okay. So this is the new one. Wow. Personally, I, I, I like the pre-infusion shot better than a regular just standard shot. So man, I don't know what you guys think. Have you ever played with just the pre-infusion shot only? If you haven't played with it, uh, just simply just hold down the button. Uh, whenever you hold down the button, you are getting into pre-infusion and let it go, give you the full power. So, I mean, you could make good coffee using just the pre-infusion. I mean, as you've seen on the uh, video as well. So coffee looks good. Coffee puck looks perfect. Yep, all dried up. So this is nicely distributed. So. Anyway, uh, look like we got some questions here. Somebody asked, could you please make a cortado with the amber glass? I'm curious to see what it looks like. Somebody asked me cortado with my amber glass. Okay, so cortado is like, I believe it's a 50-50, a okay, so one-to-one -one ratio. So we got the, so this is cortado glass, so I'm gonna do, yeah, let, let's make that, okay? Let's make the cortado for you. Somebody asked me, Hoon, why don't you get a rocket machine? Yes, I love to get a rocket, but it's about 17, 1800 bucks. So, I mean, they're heat exchange machine. They're fantastic, but I mean, again, that's, it's all about the price because, and I, I'm looking for $600 coffee machine, but the machine I really love is like the Lydia Mini. They're like $5,400. So with the tax on there, you're looking at six grand. So it's a little, li little tough, okay, a little tough. Okay, so I think I have one cortado. I think I got some little bit of coffee left, so let's make the cortado. Uh, someone asked me, am I roast my own coffee beans? Yes, I do. I have a beamer at work, so I do that. Okay, so I'm gonna make, let's do oat milk cortado. I've been really enjoying the oat milk lately, so. Uh, let's use the bottomless pro filter again. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna use bottomless this time. I'm just gonna do regular. I'm just gonna heat up my shot glass here. Get my milk ready. Okay. What are your thoughts on PID 
machine versus heat exchanger? Someone asked me what do I think about PID versus heat exchange. I love the PID because you don't have to do the temperature surfing. And because you know you are going to get the, the temperature, the ideal temperature all the time. So personally, I really like the PID. The one really I like is the, the Rentralier just came out with a Silvia Pro. Dual boiler with the PID built in. They are simply amazing. So, but again, 1700 bucks. Someone asked me, show you guys how to do roast. You know what? I have quite a few videos on my channel, so check out my roasting uh, section of the video. And someone asked me, when do I passion for my coffee begins? Because I, I love the process of making coffee, okay? Because you have total control over it. You got the roasting stage. So you, you're gonna get a green beans. And I usually get it from my local roaster, uh, Adventure Coffee Roaster. I buy the beans, okay, the actual green beans. And, and then I roast myself, I play with it, and just make coffee. I was starting about, what, three years ago? So, I mean, I just love it. I just love it. Okay, so again, so let's do that. I'm going to be using my niche grinder. You know what, for this time, let's use the built-in grinder, okay? Yeah, let's use the built-in grinder. That's fun to do. So with built-in grinder, I like to use my 3D dosing funnel. Okay, okay I'm gonna do, again, 17 gram. Get, the, get going here. Is it cheaper to roast your own beans? Someone asked me, is it cheaper to roast your own beans? Yes, much, much cheaper because I get about seven dollars per pound of green beans compared to you buy the whole beans you're looking at between 15 and 20 and same time you know you know the quality so so just make sure get the good roaster so i really like the beamer roaster it's about three four hundred bucks but should last you a long time Okay, from here, that. Okay, from here. Okay, let's see. Someone asked me which grinder am I recommend. I really like the SETA 270, but I know one of one of my viewers uh, told me that the other day they have issues with the gearing. So, but still I think I, tr I still I trust the SETA, but 270 is good. A uh, smart grinder is always a good choice there as well. They're around but 199, so around 200 dollar range there. So. So with the Coltaro, I'm just going to do one to two ratio again. Okay, let's get the better viewing angle for you. Here we go. I'm just going to do manual mode. I'm going to pre-infusion for around five or six seconds. There we go. Oops. Hold on, I messed up. I messed up. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I got 32, 33 gram. Good. Okay. And then I'm going to start doing the steaming.
And then I'm gonna So with oat milk it's a little tougher to steam the milk but I think oat milk has the best result for the non uh, non dairy options. I try all of them. I try the oat milk, almond milk, coconut, soy. I think I like the oat milk is the best. Again, as you guys know, one downside of Brista Express is a steaming power. Not the best, but I mean, for us, this is fine. Okay. So milk is ready and just make sure wipe it clean with a wet towel after that. Okay. Again, the milk is looks really good though, as you can see from here. So let's do some a little bit of latte art. Okay. Again, more like one to one ratio for the cortado. So here we go. Here we go. I mean, it looks really good. It's not bad. Comes to milk quality, as you can see here. Pretty creamy. Yeah, really, really nice. Cheers. It's really good, okay? So I think definitely, if you guys are looking for like a non-dairy options, definitely try the oat milk, okay? So oat milk, we have a couple of different brands. We got the Calife and who else? We have Oatly is really good. I know this is a minor figures oat milk from UK. These guys, I think they sell through uh, Amazon as well. So uh, not not cheap. Okay, it's like three dollars per carton. So, but again, I, I think you can go with Calife is like a lot cheaper, around like two dollar range there. So anyway, uh, so with this, what I like to do is I like to put like monk fruit like one teaspoon or two teaspoon makes really nice dessert drink so how do you decide when to use the built-in grinder versus the um, niche someone asked me when do i decide using built-in and uh niche okay so what if i make videos about bristol express I always go with the built-in grinder because most of you you don't have built-in grinder Okay, I'm not the built-in grinder, but like, you know, other separate grinder. So it's kind of like pointless to use the Brista Express and Niche grinder combined because you're not going to see the results. Okay, so pretty, my channel is like mostly based on Brista Express anyway. I mean, that's the most of you come to my channel for that. So lately I've been using like Lapaboni. So, I mean, I love Lapaboni though. So whenever I use Lapaboni, I go with uh, Niche grinder as well. Oh, by the way, I, we got Fabio. I see your name popped up, Fabio. You need to come to my uh, YouTube live, not the YouTube, but Instagram to show us your new machine, okay? So Flavio, he just bought a, this beautiful setup at home. So I can't wait to see it, okay, in action. How long have you had the barista still satisfied with its performance? Someone asked me, do I still happy with Barista Express? Yeah, I've been, it's been going on two years now. And only thing I did, uh, let's see, I replaced the gaskets on the top, the grip head gaskets. What else? Uh, I replaced the inner burr, okay? And make sure I get the inner burr from the Bravo. They are about $20 from the Bravo website. Amazon is somewhat pricier, but you can get it right away. So it all depends on how soon you want. So, because I don't mind waiting. So I wait about two weeks for that. To get inner bird but i mean if you're not in a hurry just make sure get from bravo website as well and uh, i'm using this amber cup from not neutral so this is really nice cup okay 
I mean, Nat Nutri is one of my favorite cups to drink. So these cups are fantastic. I think Nat Nutri is going to give you guys 15% off. So I'm going to put the link down below as well. So definitely check it out, okay? Because nothing like, you know, I drink out of good coffee. I mean, good cup, you know, feels really good and yeah, it's, it's fun to use. Let's see. Okay. Uh, how do you know when milk is ready? You know what? Once you cannot touch it anymore, it's really hot. Or you can use, uh, let's see, I don't have my thermometer. So you can actually uh, use the, some people actually use the, the temperature stick as well. But it all depends, okay? So you, whenever you, you, you cannot touch it anymore, that's the way I usually uh, stop the uh, steaming. Somebody asked me how to milk at the tip. That's why I wipe it down. Whenever you steam the milk, just make sure wipe down right after, okay? That's why I got that this wet paper towel ready to go. So that's a good question there. And once in a while, I take the tip out uh, from the, uh, the steam one and wash it. Soak it overnight and I just wash it. It come right out. Okay, someone asked me, the, the reason why the, you're going to have this burnt milk, because, I mean, this is known for that as well from Bravo, so that's why you got to really work fast, okay? And so once you steam the milk right away, just clean it. Uh, someone asked me, I choose the, if I have a choice, Rocket is top of my list. Okay, we got Rocket. Actually, my ultimate, the coffee machine is the La Merzacco Lidia Mini. I mean, that is the one. But you know what? Lately, I'm looking at the Slayer. The Slayer is also another amazing machine, but they're over 10 grand. So I think I'm okay with the Lidia Mini. But I mean, that's my long term uh, dream right there. But Rocket is definitely reachable, okay? All about $15,000 to $2,000 range. The R58 is really nice, so it's about three grand. But again, let's face it, I, know, I mean, come on. That's, I was a hard time paying uh, 600 bucks, okay? So. Um, somebody says, your next Rinza is a great product for getting burnt milk off the steam wand. Magical. Okay, someone asked me about the, this, uh, this product. Uh, Urnex, Urenza. Okay, so that's good. Okay, thank you for the tip there. And somebody from Korea. So we got some someone from Korea as well. We got yeah. 안녕하세요. <laughs> yeah. How is the new machine project going? Did you check the CC1 or the Lilith Mara? Okay, so I did actually, I did uh, send email to Lilith, okay? And then they response back to me right, uh, right away. And they're not interested in, you know, some kind of, they're not interested at all with me. So, I mean, that's okay. And I send it out to a lot of email to numerous companies. So, you know, I mean, kind of like hit and miss. And the most of my products, <clears throat> since my channel is small, I don't have the marketing budget. So I usually reach out to company I really like. And like San Anthony Industry, okay, there's no way I'm going to pay 300 bucks for that, but I know someone out there willing to pay for, you know, great temping station. So, so I mean, San Antonio industry nice enough to send me a demo unit to review and, you know, show you guys around. So, so that's how my product review works because first I find a product I like and I reach out to them and then, you know, 50% of the times they say yes and other 50% of the time say no. So uh, hit and miss. I know one of my viewer going to, I think, I believe his name is Sal. Uh, he's going to send me some cool products. So I can't wait to see that as well. Okay, we got... Um, I have a barista now. Rocket R58 is the next machine for me. Okay, someone say you have barista, but R58, R58 is a really nice machine. Make sure go with a good grinder as well. Okay, so without the good grinder, 
doesn't matter if you have very expensive espresso machine, it does not make any difference. So make sure you get the good grinder. We have a couple people from Tucson watching. They say, who and where do you get your fresh coffee again? I'm in Tucson. Okay, if you guys are watching from Tucson, uh, message me, okay? I want you to come over for a coffee at my shop. Uh, I have a computer shop in Tucson, so feel free to stop by. I got my coffee bar set up there, so happy to make you a coffee. And then fresh beans, I, okay, I'm buying uh, beans from uh, Adventure Coffee Roaster on 22nd Street, and I roast myself, so. I mean, if you come by, you know, maybe I can roast some beans too. Okay. Um, so somebody, Flavio, says Hoon rockets are not the best. They are super nice, but not the best machine. EMC, Profitic, and Bezerra are the best? Someone, uh, Flavio mentioned to me, rocket is not the best. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know Flavio has a Bezerra, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, that, okay, again, we got, once you reach that level, uh, over like two thousand dollar range there we got the rocket we got the protect uh, perfect I think I, I hope I'm saying it right and uh, I got the Flavio got the Brazil uh, they got all they got so many uh, equipment to choose from so make sure shop around okay that's the key they got so many reviews out there just make sure shop around and what's right fit for you and, and also, don't forget the like Gaza Classic Pro. Gaza Classic Pro is on the around $500 range as well. So that's also a good entry level machine too. So it's all about the right fit, okay? It has to be right fit to your lifestyle and also fit in your budget and make sure fit in your kitchen too. So I have pretty low counter space. So shelf space, uh, everything needs to be fit properly. Uh, someone asked me about my setting. Uh, my inner bird set at 5, okay, because inner bird has a 1 through 10, so I usually put 5. I know a factory set at 6, so I just recently lowered to number 5. And outside, all depend on the beans, between 6 and 7, uh, between 5 and 7, uh, between 5 and 7, so depend on the beans. So. Uh, someone asked me live video of bean roast. You know what? Roasting beans are really boring, okay? So, I mean, if you guys want, I mean, I, I could do this some demo live, uh, live video and uh, roasting video for you as well. But it's again, it's boring, but maybe I'll do that next week. Okay, so I'm going to take a few more questions. And so, so today's plan, after this live show, I'm taking my son out to coffee, okay? I'm going to go to the local coffee shop. I think we're going to go to, I know uh, someone watching from Tucson, I'm going to Savaya Coffee. So I'm going to go to Savaya Coffee. I'm going to order their espresso and see what they taste like. Because I don't usually order espresso at the coffee shop. So let's find out how good their coffee is. Because I think I have a pretty good baseline with this. So I can compare it. Uh, someone asked me a question. Do you have to lower the inner burr from time to time? Someone asked me, you know what, I never lower my inner burr unless I have to. Because I try different beans all the time. So if you're using the same beans every time, you could, yeah, you could lower it. Just make sure you can, account, uh, make sure you can get the right setting. But if you're changing all the time, different beans like I do, I like to just stay with it, okay? And then I just trying to uh, set the topper, not the topper, but outside setting instead of inner bar. They're pain in the butt to work with. Um, how long have you had the niche and how are you finding it? Okay, somebody asked me, how do I like niche? I love it, okay? They are really nice. And let's see, what's the second question? Oh, I mean, I love it, okay. This niche is, I think, I think one of best home grinder out there for single dosing, okay. I know Eureka makes really good one. Uh, let's see, Eureka makes good one. I know Mazar is okay. I have that at work. I, I'm not a big fan of Mazar. 
because they're old and even the the comes to again if you are using for cafe mazar is the best but at home use i'm not a big fan of it how long does roasting usually take someone asked me how long roasting usually takes about less than 15 minutes okay because uh, beginning to end process i'm looking at about 20 minutes 20 to 25 minutes with a setup roasting and then clean up about yeah less than half an hour so that's really easy to do it uh, anyway uh, so again uh, right after this I'm gonna go do some coffee tasting at the Savaya coffee somebody wants you to do a live of that uh, roasting no of the Savaya you know what if a Savaya coffee has good internet okay internet access there the good Wi-Fi I definitely did a live okay so you guys can see it because because I'm really anxious to see what they, you know, because obviously they are using commercial machine with the best grinder out there. So, I mean, if they have a good Wi-Fi, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be go up there shortly. So hopefully they have a good Wi-Fi so we can do the live show. If not, I'm going to make video as well. What's your Instagram? Is someone asking me about Instagram page? Uh, is it just look for Hoon's Coffee, AZ. So you can find me there as well. And also I'm going to put the link down below too. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. And uh, at the most likely I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning as well. See you guys next time.